Hello friends, welcome to Mechnotech YouTube channel. Friends, in this video, we will see the example for gear train. So let us start. In the epicyclic gear train, an arm carries two gear A and B having 36 and 45 teeth respectively. So here you can see in this figure, A and B having 36 and 45 teeth. Okay, so TA is equal to 36 and TB is equal to 45. Now, what we have to find first, if the arm rotate at 150 rpm, it means this arm rotate 150 rpm in anti-clockwise direction about the center of gear A, means from this center it is rotate anti-clockwise, okay, which is fixed, it means gear A is fixed in the first case. Now, determine the speed of gear B, now what? is the speed of gear B that we have to determine. Hope you understand what is the case 1, right? If arm rotate 150 rpm in anti-clockwise, gear A is fixed and what should be the rpm of gear B? What should be the speed of gear B that we have to find, okay? Now, uh, second case we discuss later but let us first find out the speed of gear B, okay? So here, uh, we have seen this table in a previous video, okay? If you have not seen, then press the i bell icon and you can see, you can watch that video, right? So, as per this case 1, speed of the gear B that we have to find when gear A is fixed, okay? And the speed of the arm is 150 rpm in anti-clockwise, okay? So, here, why here given that is the rotation or we can say revolution of arm C, and it is denoted by y. So here y is equal to 150 rpm, okay? And in anti-clockwise, that's why here uh, taking as a positive, okay? So, and also consider nc is equal to 150 rpm, okay? So our, uh, so the rotation of arm c and c that is 150 rpm, okay? Now for gear a, here the total motion x plus y. So initially gear a is fixed. So, x plus y is equal to 0, okay? So, x is equal to minus y, we can say. So, x is equal to minus 150 rpm. So, we can find out the speed x is equal to minus 150 rpm. Now, what is the speed of gear B? So, here gear B is equal to, we can say, y minus x into Ta upon Tb. Okay, so NB is equal to Y minus X into TA upon TB. So what is Y? It is 150. What is X? It is minus 150. So here minus minus becomes plus. So plus 150 into TA is given that is 36. Okay, and TB is equal to 45. So TA and TB is already given here 36 and 45. So uh, finally, we can uh, get the speed of gear B that is 270 rpm, okay? So hope you understand this first case, speed of the gear B, okay, that we have find over here, 270 rpm when the gear A is fixed. Now in second case, speed of the gear B when gear A makes 300 rpm. Now instead of gear A fixed, we have to make it 300 rpm. So as per this table, x plus y is equal to, we can say, 300, okay? So x plus y is equal to 300, but it is in a clockwise, okay? So here gear A is in a clockwise, so x plus y is equal to minus 300. And clockwise is given here, you can see in, in a problem, gear A instead of being fixed, make 300 rpm in the clockwise direction, okay? So direction is given here, that's why we consider x plus y is equal to minus 300, okay? Now y comes over here, so y is equal to 150, okay? So we have seen here, y is equal to 150, so y comes to this side, is it? so it's become minus 150, so x is equal to now minus 450 rpm, okay? So, for this case, x is equal to minus 450 rpm. And again, what we have to find? Speed of the gear B. So, nb is equal to, put the same equation, y minus x into ta upon tb. So, here, y, 
that is 150 minus x which is changed here minus 450 so minus minus become plus so plus 450 into ta that is 36 and tb that is 45 so answer is 510 and it is positive so positive means it is anti clockwise so at that time in a second case speed of the gear b is 510 rpm and it is positive that's why it's a anti clockwise direction okay so this is an example for gear train which is very simple example and this example is also asked in gtu exam so hope friends you like this video and if you like it then press like button share this video to your friends and subscribe for more and more videos thank you jai hind jai bharat